Hello guys, it's me Jamie and welcome back to another weekly reading vlog. If you saw my most recent reading vlog, my most recent weekly one I mean, you will know that I'm basically in the middle of the exact same books that I was when I left off on the previous week. So without too much faffing about, I just thought I would talk about what I'm currently reading and my reading plans for the week. At the moment I'm in the middle of The Burning God, I'm up to page 273 so I'm nearly halfway through and I think my main focus is going to be this this week. I really want to finish it before the end of the week is up and I think I will because I am really enjoying it. It's just a very big chunky book. Basically this is the third book in the Puppy War series. I'm just loving it. I'm really loving this whole vibe. It's just really good and can't wait to finish this one. I'm also in the middle of Vicious Spirits by Kat Cho. I'm up to page 160. So another book where I'm nearly halfway through. I think this one is probably going to be the one that I finish first this week. I really, really want to finish a book today. So I think this is going to be the one that is most realistic for me to finish. So I think I'm really going to try and read as much of this today as I can. And if not, at least I would finish it tomorrow morning. And I'm also in the middle of Bully by Penelope Douglas, which I'm reading on my Kindle. I'm only 7% of the way through, so I haven't even really gotten started on this just yet. It seems alright, it just seems like it's going to be an enemy to lovers dark new adult romance. This one I'm mostly just reading to like if I need something really fast to read or if I'm at work and I need to read something when I have time like waiting around. So it's currently Tuesday. I have quite a few errands to run today. I need to go to the library. I think I've got like six books waiting for me at the library. So that's really exciting. So I'm going to go and pick those up. Then I also need to do some editing, some filming, all that sort of fun stuff and just be in and out of the house basically. So I don't think I'll be able to really sit down and read until probably the evening or the afternoon. But I'm definitely going to focus on this because like I said, I really want to finish a book today. I'll update you when I need to update you. I don't really have any other reading plans for this week. I'm mostly just going to focus on finishing these books and then if I do pick something up again, it will probably just be something from my TBR or from my library books. Talk to you soon and hopefully I would have had some reading done. Hello everyone, it's now Wednesday morning. I didn't do anything yesterday. I ended up feeling like really nauseous and really sick all day, like after I finished that intro. So I didn't do any of the stuff I wanted to do. I didn't do any editing. I didn't do any filming. I didn't go to the library. I basically just like stayed in bed all day and yeah, not a good time, but I'm actually hoping to do a little bit more, hopefully tomorrow. And I do have to go to work today. I am shooting, but I'm not getting picked up till about 12.30. So I've still got a bit of time. When I was feeling gross though, I did actually get to read more of Vicious Spirits, but not a lot. So I'm only on page 217 now, but I'm over halfway and I'm hoping to finish this tonight. I also do have a lot of downtime on set, so I'm hoping to take this with me as well and read some. Yeah, I'll probably hopefully try and finish this after work tonight. Like, I think I'll be able to. Hopefully I'm not too tired. How I feel about it is just that it's really messy. I don't really know what's going on. The character relationships are just like so weird. Like I just don't really get it. But yeah. I also watched a film last night with Caitlin and Chloe. We watched a Netflix party. I did have a little clip which I put in. But we watched Moxie which is the new Netflix film that's based off the book. And it's supposed to be like this teen like feminist like high school movie. And I've heard so many good things about it. It was so bad. <laughs> I'm sorry, that movie was the epitome of like the shy white girl whose black friends tell her about feminism and teach her about feminism and then the white girl gets all the glory at the end. What was that movie? There was so many cringe lines in that as well. It was just the epitome of like, I wrote girl power on a piece of paper so now I've ended sexism. I just didn't, I just, uh, there's so, th I just feel like that movie really thought it did something and it just like, I don't even know, I don't even know if it was like really, really true to the book either but it was just the epitome of white feminism. And it was just like, it, it was just ridiculous. It was just bad. And like, I've watched so many other movies that aren't necessarily about feminism, but are more feminist than that movie. There was also this character who I think might've been trans. I'm not sure because she talked about people like using her dead name and stuff, but then like she was only in like two scenes and there was just no nuanced conversations. And I'm like, I think our feminism needs to be way more intersectional than this. Like this is just, I don't even know. And then there was also some like, in the very last five minutes of the, of the movie, like one of the black girls was like, don't touch my hair, like, blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, yeah, these are really important, like, things to say. Why are we, like, chucking them in, in the last five minutes? Whereas we've just had one hour and 40 minutes 
of this white girl putting on a leather jacket and then this other like love interest character being like you're such a powerful feminist anyways not for me and thank god caitlin and chloe hated it as well like we were both we were all just like what is this movie but anyway back to my reading stuff it's currently 11 and like i said i'm getting picked up at 12 30 so i'm gonna go have a shower and then walk up to the library and pick up my books and i'm also going to be returning these three books so simple wild last three parts of the sea and stamped so i'm going to return those and then hopefully when i get back i will have enough time to do a little mini library haul which will be fun so yeah, I'm gonna go shower now and I'll talk to you very soon. Okay, so I just got back from the library. I picked up five books. Four of them I had on hold. One of them I just saw as soon as I walked in and I was like, I'm gonna pick that up. Let's start with that one. So I picked up The Empress of Salt and Fortune by Ni Vo. This is a tiny little fantasy novella and I actually saw this on someone's channel recently. It's only 118 pages. And I have no idea what this is about. I don't know if it's a series. I don't know really anything. I saw that it was little and I saw that it was based on or like set in Imperial China. And I think it has a lot to do with like these little animals. And I think there is actually like, I don't actually think it's necessarily a series, but I think it's, th it's like they've got companion books to go with it. On the back here, it is blurbed by R.F. Kuang. So that is amazing. It says here that it's a feminist high fantasy in set in Imperial China. Stunning. So I reckon this would be a really nice little read to just read in one sitting. So I'll probably get to this one pretty soon. Like I don't think it will impact my like TBR or anything like that. So yeah, super happy that I saw this sitting there. It was just like sitting at the front of the library under like new releases. So yeah, I got that one. I also requested Full Disclosure by Cameron Garrett. Like I said, um, I think in maybe my TBR or my uh, 24 hour readathon that I uploaded recently, I'm really into hard, like very hard hitting contemporaries at the moment. And this is a very hard hitting contemporary. I know that Caitlin and Chloe have both read it and have loved it. It's basically just about a girl who is at high school living her life and she is HIV positive. And then someone finds out and starts like bullying her and basically threatening to tell the entire school that she has HIV. So I think this is gonna be a very, very powerful novel. And I'm really excited to read this. I don't know when I'll get to it, but hopefully soon. I also picked up The Guest List by Lucy Foley. This was the winner for the Goodreads Choice Awards for 2020 for Mystery Thriller for that category. So I'm really excited to read this. It seems like a really short book, actually. It's 450 pages, but the, t the writing is so big. And let me tell you why. This is the large print edition. And this is a little tip and trick for library users. So I have a really good library system, actually. Like, my city has re a really good library system. But when it comes to new releases, usually it only has, like, 20 copies of, like, very popular new releases and stuff like that. We usually have around 20 copies. And so many people will put that copy on hold. When I searched this on the database, it had about 200 holds. So I wouldn't be able to get this to, for, like, another year, probably but it doesn't include the large print edition as like the same book it's like in the system and in the database as like a separate book almost so when i put in the guest list a large print edition there was only like 30 holds on it so it's exactly the same book with bigger text we love that and i didn't have to wait over a year for it so if you use the library and like books are always on hold for like heaps and heaps of people look up the large print edition because I guarantee you, you'll get it way quicker. So yeah, super excited to read this. I know that this thriller is set on a remote island. I think there is like a wedding. That's why it's like the guest list. I have a feeling it's gonna be very similar to Agatha Christie's and then there were none where people just kind of like get killed off one by one. So super excited to read this. I'm not sure what I'm going to again, but hopefully very soon. I usually read thrillers really fast and with such big text. Oh, I love a large print edition. I also have We Sold Our Souls by Grady Hendrix. Look how beautiful this is. Oh my God, very stunning. This is a horror book. The only other Grady Hendrix that I have read is My Best Friend's Exorcism, which I really love. I love that book. It's very campy, very ridiculous, outrageous. Just reminds me of like those trashy horror movies that I grew up watching when I was like 13. I have no idea what this particular novel is about, but I think it's a horror about like a death metal band. I don't know what the horror element 
will be but i love books about like famous people and especially musicians like daisy jones and the six vibes but like horror so very excited to read this i also really want to read the southern guide to slaying vampires don't really know the full title but it's also by the same author and i actually have that one on hold at the library as well but that one has like 50 holes or something so it might be a little while till i get it but until then i can read this and i'm super excited and i also have the gilded wolves by roshani trotsky this is a heist novel it's ya it's fantasy it came out a couple of years ago and it was very like people didn't like it but i think i would like this because i love heist books and i don't really care that people think it's copying six of crows like not every single heist novel copies six of crows like you can have a fantasy heist it's not exactly like a new brand new concept this is set in paris and i'm just really excited to read this again i if i'm not in the hearted and contemporary mood i'm in the fantasy mood so again i don't know when i'll get to this i have so many fantasy books that i've been meaning to read but hopefully i want to get to this one in like april maybe so it is the 10th of march and i only have it for a month but i can renew it like there was no holes on this one this one basically came in instantly so yeah so those are the library books that i picked up today i will probably be having more come in because i've requested so many and they just keep coming in one by one like i've requested a lot of my most anticipated books so as the library like i'm like first in line for those holds but the library like hasn't actually gotten the books in yet so hopefully those will be coming in soon and then also i've just got some other ones that like i requested ages ago but had heaps of holds so yeah Hopefully you will get more library haul content on my channel very soon. But yeah, so those books are picked up. Now, I have about half an hour before I get picked up to go to set. So I think I'm going to make a coffee and just try and read some more of some Vicious Spirits. I will talk to you when I get home. And hopefully I will finish Vicious Spirits when I'm in bed at home after work. But yeah, I wish I could um, vlog on set, but it's com I can't, I'm not allowed. The producers said that everything has to be confidential. Like I can't even post Instagram stories. So yeah. Anyway, I'm going to read now. Bye. Good morning guys. Okay. So it is Saturday and I'm so sorry, but I haven't been updating literally at all. I've had such a huge working week and I'm just about to start doing a huge 13 hour day today and then the same tomorrow. So I am really, really busy. But I did want to mention that yesterday, on Friday, I managed to finish Vicious Spirits by Kat Cho. It ended up taking me ages. I know, I'm sorry. Like I said, like on Tuesday or Wednesday, like I'm going to finish this today. And then it ended up taking me basically the entire week. It just really didn't grip me whatsoever. I ended up rating it two out of five stars just because I felt like the plot and everything was all over the place. We did end up getting a very clear fantasy villain, but like... She kind of came out of nowhere and I just really wish that maybe we saw the old villain from the first book come back and we really stuck with the main characters from the first book. I just feel like this book did not translate as well as the first one and I just didn't, I just didn't like it as much. I just thought it wasn't as charming, it wasn't structurally as good and even our characters who I loved so much in the first one, like our side characters that we're now focusing on this one, I feel like when they became the main characters they kind of lost their charm, lost their banter. Yeah, I really just am not sure about this. And I also really didn't believe the romance as well. Not, it's just everything that I liked about Wicked Fox is just not in this book. So yeah, two out of five stars. Very, very disappointing because I thought I would love this. This was on my 21 books to read in 2021. But oh well, onwards and upwards. Because I'm filming all day, I probably won't be able to do much reading or anything. But I regardless i am still going to take the burning god with me to set and then because i've got a huge day tomorrow i'm really not going to be doing anything tonight so i reckon as soon as i get home i'll be reading and having a cozy night in i know that chloe wants to play some video games with me caitlin and kevin and i also got some cool stuff for my room that's arrived so i might try and like uh spend some time redoing that playing some games reading and just generally having a good fun time and then hopefully the same tomorrow when I when I finish filming as well so yeah obviously I will keep you updated oh I also did read more of bully I'm on 15% so there's really nothing to say I went from 7% to 15% okay so I have about half an hour before I get picked up to go to set so I'm gonna brush my teeth get dressed and then with what I, time I have left hopefully read a few more pages of this and then I'll see you when I get home hello guys 
it's Sunday night. I'm sorry I didn't even read or vlog anything yesterday. It was a huge, huge exhausting day. But I did film all day today and read a little bit more of The Burning God. So I do have a bit more to update. But oh my god, what a week. <laughs> Honestly, like, I just feel like I tried my best to vlog this week. But I feel like I haven't even done a proper, like, update or properly actually read anything since I finished Vicious Spirits. And even then, my heart wasn't really into reading it. And then, like, I did my whole, like, library haul and everything on Wednesday. And then since then, I just feel like I haven't even vlogged anything. Like, I feel terrible. But it's okay. So... Last night on Saturday night, after I finished filming, I was like, I need cheering up. And luckily I had planned a gaming date with Caitlin, Chloe and Kevin from Irish Reader. We played Fortnite together and I had never played Fortnite before and it was actually surprisingly so fun. I really wasn't sure how I was gonna feel about it, but oh my God, that just cheered me right up. But because I wrapped on set at like 9 p.m. and then I came home and played Fortnite with these guys, I didn't actually end up going to sleep till like 12.30 and I had to get up early in the morning again for filming today. So I didn't really read anything after I played Fortnite and then I have read a little bit of The Burning God on set and since I've gotten home, but not much, like maybe 30 pages because I'm now on page 294, which isn't even halfway yet. So I'm gonna spend basically all night just trying to read more of this and hopefully vlogging the experience. It's like 10.30 at night, so it's not too late right now. I want to at least get up to part three, which is page 390. And so that would be like just under 100 pages, which is so doable. Like it's definitely a harder book to read fast because it is a very dense fantasy, but I can easily read 100 pages like before I go to sleep tonight. And then I also think I will spend a lot of tomorrow vlogging. So then even though it's like slightly longer than like a full week, like I'm overlapping and going into Monday, you know what, who cares? Like it's fine. I just want to have like content <laughs> for this particular vlog. So I have just tidied my room. I know it doesn't look like it because I still don't even have a chest of drawers or anything, but I've just tidied my room. So I'm going to get into my pajamas and get cozy and get in bed. Maybe do some ASMR rooms and finally read more of the burning god in terms of the story something very intense has happened and i loved it it was amazing very crazy but it is hard because it's been a while since i have picked it up because i decided to focus on vicious spirits and try and finish that so then i could get to this and really dive into this and love it but it's hard to like pick it up and get like re-excited about it again so i think reading 100 pages tonight will make me super excited about it finally and what just happened as well has made me like wow so that's what i'm gonna do right now so i'm gonna get dressed and i'll talk to you soon once i've read more of that good morning everyone so i did get up to part three of the burning god so now i've got i think just over 200 pages left so definitely gonna finish this tomorrow i reckon i'm really invested in it now that was such an intense few chapters that i read last night my god rin is like literally one of my idols I'm obsessed with her. There was some sad stuff that happened, but I'm just ready for her to take over the world. And if anyone watching has read this, you should know which part I'm up to. Like, it was just insane. Like, so good. So, yeah, so ready to keep reading more of this today. I'm so excited. I also just finished editing a video and uploaded it. So, feeling very, very confident, very good. I think what I'm going to do now is do some more planning for other videos and reply to some comments. I think that'll be nice. Also, I'm wearing my Head High t-shirt. This is the TV show that I filmed in, at the end of 2019 and came out last year and what I'm currently filming season two for. So just thought I'd do a shameless promo for my acting work. But yeah. But I sleep in this. This isn't something that I'd wear normally. This is just like my pajama top. But yeah. Cool. I also really want to put some pictures up on my wall because as you can see, I'm sick of that blank space. So I'm also going to do that. And yeah, I don't know if I'm going to film any other videos today. I think I'm going to save. I'm filming tomorrow, like filming my TV show tomorrow. But then Wednesday, I have like another thing in the morning. But then can spend the rest of the day doing booktube stuff. So I think that's what I'm going to do. I think that's going to be my filming day. But then today's going to be my like editing day and like admin and stuff like that. I'm going to jump on my computer and reply to some comments and do all that sort of stuff. And then put some pictures up. And then yeah, maybe just spend the rest of the day and afternoon trying to read more of this. I would just love to get it finished. I also might read some more of Bully tonight. That might be my like nighttime read. I also have another gaming date with Chloe, Kevin and Caitlin. So we've got a really fun day planned. I'm gonna get started on doing what I just said I would do. Cool, see you later. Okay, so I've just finished putting things on my wall and look how cute this little area is. It's right by my computer and everything. 
Oh my god, I love it. Sorry, I look like a hot mess right now. And this light behind me is really not doing any favors. But yeah, I love this. So I really want to start streaming on Twitch. I've already got my like Twitch link down below and everything and like all my videos. And this in this little corner would be my streaming space. And this is where I do like live shows and stuff. So this is just everything. I might actually start filming videos here. Keep an eye out for the next video because it'll be here. Love that. Oh my god, look how pretty she is. Thumbnail. Yeah, I basically just got like photos of like me and friends and then like stuff that I like. So lots of Studio Ghibli, lots of like BTS, all that sort of vibe. So yeah, room tour. Anyway, um, I'm gonna reply to some emails and then do some more reading. And then I need to have a shower because I'm kind of sweaty. Okay, catch you later. Taking a quick work break to watch my fave. We love her. Tag yourself, I'm a literal tear rolling down my cheek as I watch Chloe channel about me and Caitlin. <sighs> Anyways, also really grateful for my friends, guys. Hey guys, okay, so it's about 7.30 in the evening and I got up to 30% of Bully by Penelope Douglas, which is the romance book that I'm reading. And it's like, okay at the moment. Like, it's just a very easy, like, chill read. I feel kind of weird about, like, dark romances that are set in high school because they're obviously, like, very explicit and our characters are, like, 16. And, like, yes, I know that teenagers have sex and stuff. Like, I'm very aware of that. I don't know, it just feels weird for, like, adults to be writing, like, explicit sex scenes between teenagers. But that's just my personal opinion. Like, I don't mind like college aged people, but it does feel like a bit weird. I know it's realistic, but I don't know. So that's one thing that's kind of weird. I mean, there hasn't been any like explicit sex yet or anything like that, but like I know that it will be coming because it's Penelope Douglas. But I'm also just like really, really pissed off at this plot point right now. Like it is getting the right emotions out of me. Like I'm sure this is what the author intended. So like good on her, but oh my God. So basically the whole story, is about this girl who has like come back from a year-long exchange and her next door neighbor they used to be like childhood friends but now he's just like really mean to her and he bullies her and because she's just got back from this trip she's like okay I'm gonna like meet him in the middle and like play his game so they're like you know messing with each other that sort of stuff but what's really pissed me off is she's got this like one female friend and she's like her only friend right and her, her friend was the one that was that told our main character to like play his game but now all of a sudden she's like on the guy's side and like lying to her best friend and like hanging out with the dude and being like, hey, he's really not such a bad guy. Like maybe you should like back off a little bit. Sorry, but if my best female friend did that to me about my fucking bully, what the hell? Uh, they would never hear from me ever again. So that's really, really pissing me off. And I know that it's going to be like a bigger thing, but oh my God. If our main character forgives her friend or they make up, I'm done. Especially because it seems like it's going to go down the avenue of the bully dating the girl's best friend. If they make up, like, this book is one star. I'm sorry. But, like, that is just absolutely pissing me off. And I would never forgive my friend for doing that. I'm very much team girl power. And I'm very much someone who is, like, if I was coming to my friends and saying, this person is treating me like shit, I would want them to hate them. You know, I'm not talking about, like really petty stuff. I'm talking like if I went to one of my friends and was like, I was abused and then my friends remain friends with the abuser, like they are done in my eyes. So yeah, that aspect is definitely pissing me off, but we'll see where it goes. Um, I've got about half an hour before I'm going to jump on to Fortnite with uh, Chloe and Kevin and Caitlin. I will obviously update you tonight with my reading. I'm going to try and get through more of Bully and yeah. Okay. Good morning, guys. It's now Tuesday morning and yeah, so i I did read a lot more of Bully last night. I'm now on page, I don't know what page, but I'm around 50%. And oh my God, the thing that I talked about that made me angry happened within seconds. I was just like, this main character sucks. Like why is she forgiving her awful friend for doing this? Anyway, I'm just mad at it. It also seems to be going down a trope in a lot of dark romance that I really don't like, which is basically like our male hero has been abused and then that's why he's really, really awful. And I, I don't know, there's something about that trope that kind of, for me, is really invalidating to abuse victims because it just implies that if you face abuse, you then become a really, really awful person. And I have never seen any dark romances where, or any romances in general really, where our main male character has been abused by his family or someone else 
and is now like has a lot of PTSD and deals with it in a different way other than like being a bully. So we seem to be going down that avenue which I'm really like mm, about but I'm still interested to see where we go. Like I said it's really easy read and yeah I'm just like these characters are fucking stupid. Yeah that's kind of all I read up to but oh my god I wanted to share something. It's my new like hobby and like I don't even know how to explain it but I got some new crystals in the mail. So hang on I'll show you my crystals that I already have. So I already have in my collection two rose quartz, a big one and a small one and I've had these for ages but I've never really like tried to use them like I've always kind of had them as decoration but like I'm thinking of trying to like get into harnessing their powers and their properties. It's annoying because I'm really interested in it but then the logical part of my brain is like it's a rock but then the other part of my brain is like really interested in the more spiritual side of it so I'm gonna see if I can get into that and then turn the skeptic in my brain off because I believe in zodiac signs so why would I not believe in energy from the earth you know what I mean and then I also have this which is little angelite harnesses your psychic powers and I also have a necklace that has like an obsidian on it but I don't know where it is right now and then today my ones that came in is this little bracelet and that's clear quartz and malachite and I'm sure if you're on TikTok, you've seen all the TikToks about Moldavite, which is a very powerful crystal. Malachite is essentially the tamer version of that. And then I also got some tiger's eye. So pretty. It's like all glittery inside and stuff. And this is to harness your focus and creativity when it comes to the workplace. So this is going to be by my desk all the time. So those are my crystals. Let me know if you're into crystals down below because I really want to get like a book that's like a guide on like crystals and their properties and stuff like that so if you are into crystals and you know a good kind of like beginner's book let me know because I'm very interested now apart from that I don't really have anything else planned for the week I am shooting in the afternoon today it's like 10 30 11 and I'm shooting at two o'clock so I do have to leave the house pretty soon and maybe have a shower and stuff like that so I thought I would just kind of end the vlog here so I can start a new weekly reading vlog tomorrow. So thank you so much for watching. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this vlog. Um, let me know what you thought down below. And obviously in the description box are all my socials. They always are there. So feel free to check them out. Come say hello to me on Goodreads or Twitter. And yeah, again, thank you so much for watching. And I'll see you very soon in another video. Bye. She said, Cindy, don't cry. And I don't